hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is going to be the first haul of 2021, first fashion haul, because I did actually do quite a bit of a big homeware and household item for my last video, which I'll leave linked if you wanted to see it. So today's video is in collaboration with Everything Five Pounds. You guys know I'm a big fan of their website. I have been shopping over the Christmas period. I've been spending my own money. They've very kindly gifted me a lot of these bits as well. So I wanted to do this video as a bit of an introduction to the new year with the whole concept of clearing out, decluttering, and then also at the same time treating yourself to a new wardrobe. Because for me this year, I want to kind of adopt a bit of a one in one out policy whereby when I buy something new and keep it, because Granted, I don't keep everything from every single fashion haul. When I decide I'm gonna keep something, I want to maybe clear something out. So that's what I'm gonna try and do throughout this year. Like I said, I have been spending my own money on everything five pounds. They have a newsletter which they email out every day pretty much with some new in bits and they have new stock coming in all the time. So I like to keep up to date with what is new in and if I see something I like, I get it then and there because if it's a good find, there's a good chance it's not gonna be on their website for very long. I actually have two big bags to unbox with you along with two of these big boxes so it's probably the biggest haul i've ever done with everything five pounds so make sure you are set and ready with a nice cozy drink of choice and let's get into the haul this first thing that i'm actually wearing is something that i purchased a couple of months back now from everything five pounds and i have lived in it over christmas it's a really nice fuzzy kind of chenille fabric super cozy and soft and have definitely got my money's worth with this jumper because I have worn it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna show you a pair of shoes first. So I've actually got two pairs of shoes to show you, so I might as well show you them both. The first one is actually a pair of beige colored chunky boots, which I don't have. I've got black ones that I like to wear, like in this kind of lace-up design, but I don't have any beige ones. So I thought as soon as I saw these, I thought I would purchase them myself. Um, I do size up in boots to a seven, just for reference. I'm usually like a six and a half. Um, but I just love the aesthetic of this, the fact that it is all beige, a nice walking boot. They're probably gonna get a bit dirtier than a black boot would. Um, so probably more just walking on like a crisp, frosty, I'm looking outside now and there's just snow everywhere. A crisp, fresh morning like today where it's actually not that muddy, then that is probably when I'm gonna wear those. The other pair of shoes I got are also another pair of walking boots. And these, I love the look of these so much. So they actually do quite remind me of the ones I already have in like a black color. However, these have a bit of white on them. So they kind of remind me of ski boots, snow boots. It's the sort of season, it's the time of year that I'm going on a lot of long walks with Tom and exploring our new area that we've moved to. Again, I sized up to a seven in these. They've got the coziest lining here it's like a faux fur so nice and soft and cozy so big thick pair of cozy socks and these and i can conquer the world okay this next item is actually something that one of you guys sent me a link to because you purchased it yourself if you just saw a sneak peek there yes i'm in my pajamas on my bottom half I'm still very much in that cozy kind of vibe with my birthday being in January and everyone sort of saying, oh, dry January, healthy January. I'm never that person. I'm that person that's still munching on all the Christmas chocolates well into the new year. Takeaways are still being had. Pajamas during the day are still being worn. Please let me know I'm not alone. Anyway, this is a find that very thankfully one of you sent me. You have spotted the brand on the inside. You sent me a link to it straight away. So thank you so much. I went ahead and purchased it straight away and it is from Anthropology, which is a brand that I absolutely love for homeware. To find something from Anthropology on everything5pounds.com is amazing. So you can see the full retail price there. It is uh, £104, or dollars is it? €104, Euros. <laughs> one of the three. In a UK 10, they have quite a few sizes and it's basically a gold midi skirt. So it needs a bit of a steam, but I'm imagining wearing something like this with a jumper like this. And it kind of gives off a bit of a glitz vibe, bit of a glam vibe, while still being quite comfy and relaxed. And you could pair this with chunky boots, even trainers to dress it down a little bit, or of course heels to dress it up. I just loved the fact that it's from Anthropology. 
If any of you guys shop everything five pounds and find some great brands, then by all means do send me links because there's a good chance I'm gonna purchase them. Okay, in this next bag, we have some more brands that I'm liking the look of. In particular, these two. There's actually some more in the boxes from this brand. I can tell where they're from straight away. They're from H&M. I got two pairs of jeans. And this one is kind of more of a darker blue wash. And this one's more of a lighter blue. But essentially, they're exactly the same pair of jeans. From the divided range, you can see on all the hardware that it's from H&M. I got this one, I, in fact, I got them both in a size 10, but they are a skinnier fit, which isn't my usual go-to. I tend to opt for straight jeans, but because of the stretch in these, I feel like I might wear them because I've not been wearing my jeans at all for the past several months. I even said to Tom the other day, I was like, I don't even know if I can see myself wearing jeans ever again. These are definitely more of a kind of stretchier give to them and yeah, two new pairs of jeans. Next up I got something from the menswear range. Again, you can kind of tell where the branding is from. It's from Primark. I got this in a large and it's basically a white knit kind of zip up crew neck style, well not really crew neck, it's more of a high neck style jumper. It feels pretty thick and cozy, so the fact that it's from the menswear doesn't bother me at all. I even size up to a large knit because I do like things oversized and I would say that this is absolutely fine. If anything, I could have gone for an XL. I like the idea of wearing something like this with leggings, so to have it a bit more of an oversized fit is perfect for me. So yeah, very simple, white, high neck jumper. I also picked up this lightweight jacket. It's from the brand Me Sense. It says love your style and it's in this khaki kind of color and it's kind of like a relaxed fit, not waterfall style, but just very relaxed fit in terms of there's not much hardware or anything. Um, I do like this, however, I have one pretty similar in this kind of color from All Saints and I've just thought I'd get this for a comparison, but I definitely do prefer my All Saints ones. So I don't know if I will actually, I mean, it's, it's nice enough, but I just don't know if I'm gonna get the wear out of it. I actually picked this up for Tom, but I think I might steal it. <laughs> it's one of these like fleecy Borg hoodies, just very cozy in like, it says black, but it's actually got a subtle kind of, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, a subtle kind of green and navy, almost tartan print to it, but it's very, very subtle. I got a couple of fedoras. They have quite a few different styles on their website. There was one in a gray, like a dark gray color that I was ter Terry, very tempted for, but I ended up going for black because I just feel like it's a good staple choice. Now, these are in two different styles and they are quite different in terms of the style itself. So this one is quite structured, but there's not much hardware detailing. There's just a little bit of kind of um, a pattern running throughout it. So I got this one. Oh, I just love it so much. Just plain and simple black. This one is a bit more slightly floppier style, um, but it does have the buckle design, which I love. So I might even, yeah, see it comes off pretty easy. Will it fit on this one? Yeah, it does fit on that one. So if I wanted a structured one with a bit of a buckle detail, I could switch it out to that one. But let me just show you what this one's like. It's a bit more, like I said, a bit more of a relaxed, floppier style to it. It's actually a a little bit too big for me this one as well i mean they're only five pounds each so bargain i also picked up another one of these fluffy chenille uh bobble hats that they do i have one in black and absolutely love it it's got a really nice soft faux fur inner as well so it's super cozy and warm and then obviously it's chenille on the outside so i wanted to pick up a beige version as well cute little pom-pom definitely going to have a makeup all over it now but oh well in fact we're going on a nice walk with tom's mum tomorrow so i could possibly wear this then i love it so cozy or i could even maybe wear the fedora hmm we'll have to make a decision i also picked up again for nice long walks in the fresh cold air a pair of gloves that they do and they are touchscreen ones. So I actually don't have any touchscreen ones. I've just got some like regular thermal type ones. It just makes it so much easier to be able to take pictures, you know, like, cause that's what I like to do on a walk on Instagram and was snapping away for my stories. Wow, 79.99 full price. 
And this is a little kind of lightweight jacket. One of those kind of anorak style, in fact I've got a couple of these, um, but this one is a cropped version. I do have a longer version in there as well and it's from the brand Armour Life. I got this one in a large and it does actually have a pocket, zip up pocket detail there on the front as well. I'll show you this other one that I've also got. I think this one was actually from the menswear and it's from the brand Athletic Works. I got this one in a large and it zips down all the way and it's nice and long as well, which is perfect for if you're wanting a longer line thing with like leggings. There's a lot of themes here. It's definitely something I want to do more in the new year is, well, we're in the new year, is doing more long walks. I think it's so good for the mind, the body, the soul. I just always feel good after doing a long walk. Sometimes the thought of a really long walk puts me off but I always feel better afterwards. I also picked up some wet look, leather look leggings. Now I have obviously my Topshop, my beloved Topshop ones that I'm obsessed with, but they are definitely more of a trouser. They're very thick, cozy. These are more of a legging, so I would definitely wear like a longer jumper or something with these ones because of the like thinness of them. They are just a stretchy, thin legging. But yeah, I thought they would be actually quite comfortable as an alternative to the more trouser style leather pants. Oh, I actually got one more of, okay, so I definitely don't need to keep all of these. I need to make a decision. This one is also like a longer black anorak, but it doesn't zip down all the way. It still will cover my bum with leggings, which is good. And it's got the toggles, drawstring if you want to cinch in the bottom part. And it's got a hidden pocket here, Velcro pocket, but it's only a half zip. And this one's in XL from the brand Ultra Club. Oh, I've got to make a decision or maybe I'll just keep all three. At five pounds each, you really can't go wrong. For the really cold wintry days, I picked myself up a roll neck jumper. These are murder with makeup because this over your head with makeup on, it's not a good mix. But anyway, it's super soft, just plain and simple. They had quite a few colors, I think, of this one. Um, I think they had definitely a camel color or a beige color, but I opted for a gray. It's from the brand MN Knit, and I got it in a medium. Oh, I knew there was a camel color. I also opted for the camel color. Medium as well, same brand and everything. Exactly the same top, roll neck, super soft knit. Really stretchy, good for layering. And then from the brand Cherry Coco, I see this a lot on everything5pounds.com. It is just plain and simple, a white kind of like thin knit. This is exactly what I mean by a perfect top to wear with leggings, if you're wanting the longer line. So these with the, where have they gone? The leather look leggings. I'd always opt for something like this, which is a bit longer, a bit more oversized and relaxed in fit. This is more of like a throw on cardi that I wear. I actually have one just like this from Primark and I wear it all the time. So um, to have a kind of backup second option, I got this one. Now this is from the brand Amisu and it's in a large and on the back you can see the prices here, the original retail price. So it's there's actually no British currency on there, but there is an American one of $30, $29.95. So yeah, plain and simple, open cardigan. It does actually have pocket details as well. And I love this kind of light gray mild color. Okay, we're down to the last sort of few items now. And there's still actually quite a few to go. This one again, following the theme of long walks in the countryside, wrapping up warm. I picked up this body warmer. It is actually reversible. So you can have it on this navy side with the um, like faux suede brown trim, or you can reverse it to be, let me just get the zip around the right way. Green. I like either color and then you would just flip the collar so it's green on the inside as well. I really like the kind of barber style design to this. I have another gray knit, this time in a jumper form. The brand's been cut out, but I'm pretty sure this is Topshop. It is in a small though, that's the only thing. I would have preferred to size up to like a, an XL in something like this, because again, I just really like that oversized fit. But I suppose on the days I am opting for my jeans, like my new H&M ones, it's nice to have a shorter jumper as well. You can tell from the packaging where it's from. It's from Avon, which is quite interesting. And 
And the reason why I picked up this set, it's actually a set of earrings. Oh, one's just come off. It's a set of earrings and little like necklaces. But the main reason why I got them is for these like ear cuffs. I've actually got one on today. I just really like wearing them. It's a nice alternative when you don't have a piercing up here to be able to look like you've got an earring in. I saw this jumper and they had several colors. I opted for the white version. I just love the font of it. It reminds me of one that I used to have from Zara. And this one on the front just has State of Brooklyn. It is actually embroidered on. It's not like a transfer or, or anything. It looks really nice. I opted for this in an extra large to be a bit more of an oversized fit, knowing that the um, waist was like a crop with a drawstring. High-waisted leggings is something that I would wear with that on like an everyday basis. Next up is another item which I think is from H&M. In fact, I know it is because I can tell on the label. And this again is another like roll neck, this time in beige. This one's a bit more of a relaxed fit. It's not as, it doesn't look as tight on the neck as the other ones. So probably would be actually my preference. Um, and yeah, I just love the kind of oversized fit of this. What size did I get it in? A medium, this one is in. I also opted for this blazer jacket style coat almost. Um, they definitely had this in a, another color. I think it was navy. I opted for the creamy beige kind of color. Black button and it's just a single breasted, single button open blazer. I just like the fit of this. I think it's quite a relaxed style blazer. It's not made from like a really smart structured fabric. Last but not least is this item. Again from the label I can kind of tell that I think this one's from Topshop. It's just a plain and simple high neck rib knit skinny fit top. Just long sleeve top. Super soft this one is yet again and it's a gorgeous cream colour. A good kind of everyday basic everyday staple that in winter months when it's particularly cold, and this house can get quite cold as well actually, um, I like to layer up some long sleeve tops under jumpers as well. So that is everything that I picked up. So now I definitely need a huge clear out of some of the bits that I've already got. Donate a load before restocking my wardrobe. I hope you're all having a lovely start to 2021, whatever it is you're doing and feeling productive, motivated and organized. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again to Everything Five Pounds for very kindly working with me on this video and I hope to see you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys!